So if you're watching this video, you're probably here because you want to learn how to create beautiful nail art on yourself like a pro, huh? You want to know how to create beautiful floral stamp art, graphic lines and patterns, cute little elephants with 3D eyeballs. Yeah, too bad that's not what I'm going to be showing you today. Sorry guys, but that shit is just too hard for a lazy girl like me. Instead, I'm going to show you how to spruce up your boring nails with one super easy genius hack that will make you look like a nail art pro. Interested? Then keep on watching. So here are my boring ass nails, and yes, I had a little accident in the kitchen the other day. No need to point out the obvious, okay? Back to my nails. Okay, so all you need to pull off looking like a nail art pro is metallic Sharpies. Yep, this time I'm not kidding. I picked these up on Amazon. It was a three pack of Sharpies that come in silver, bronze, and gold. I'll link them for you in my description box for those of you who are interested. Okay, so I'm starting off with a gold Sharpie and I'm drawing half of a flower in the top corner of my ring finger. I have no rhyme or reason for doing what I'm doing. Clearly, I'm not Leonardo da Vinci over here, but I think it looks decent. And then I'm creating another flower in the top corner of my pointer finger. Then to add some dimension, you know, cause I'm extra, I'm outlining the outer half of each flower design with the bronze Sharpie. Once you're happy with your design, you want to seal your artwork with a clear top coat. If you don't do this, it might smudge and it will wear off over time. And voila, you've got some dope nail art that took you under a minute to do without any fancy schmancy tools or equipment or an expensive visit to the nail salon. Okay, so the next day I repainted my nails to show you another nail art option and also show you a trick to remove the marker from your nails. And yes, my cut is still there. Hi! So on this day, I painted my nails a grayish taupe shade and I'm using this silver Sharpie to line the edge of my nails to create a French nail effect. I did this on all of my nails except the ring finger and because you're using a marker, it's so much easier to create a perfect straight line because you have more control over it versus using polish, but don't tell your manicurist they said that. Thank you so much. Okay, now for the ring finger. I decided to doodle what appears to be some weird bullseye with lines coming out of it. Anyway, it turned out to be a complete disaster and yet I thought I could save it by adding some more doodles, but no, it wasn't happening. What the? What is this even? So if this happens to you, don't panic. All you need to do is put a little bit of oil onto a cotton round. It can be straight up olive oil, or in my case, I used an oil-based eye makeup remover, and I use that to rub off the marker from my nail, and you'll see it will come right off. Once I got the marker off, I washed my finger to remove any oil residue so that the marker doesn't slip, and I tried something a little more appropriate for my skill level. I think it's a palm leaf or something like that. Anyway, once I was happy with my design, I set my nails with clear nail polish and I was good to go. Hey, can I tell you a secret? If you're subscribed to my channel, you might still be missing out on my content. To make sure you don't miss my next video, click on this little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check off this box to receive notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. Want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube? Follow me on Instagram, Snap, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. I decided to pull a Kim K on you guys. Hi, I'm Kim Kardashian West, and I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on how to take the perfect selfie, because who doesn't want to take a perfect selfie? 